Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with blogtowatch.com. Please subscribe to Blog to Watch videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Linda Verdelin Octopus 2 Double Date. Um, this is a very interesting watch and I thought a lot about it before I wanted to get into the whole discussion about it. Um, Linda Verdelin released the Octopus 1 watch a while ago. Um, the Octopus 2 is the follow-up and it is one of their diver watches, you know, with a name like Octopus. And that's Octopus with a K, by the way, because they're cool like that. I want to go to the back for a second. You can see this cool kind of engraving of this octopus with the LW logo at the bottom there. It's very much, it's very cartoony, almost tattoo-like. Actually, I would have loved for there to be an exhibition case back because this movement's supposed to be pretty nice in here. They have a nice custom movement. Um, which was made for them with some interesting parts. I'll get to that in a moment. But, you know, this type of watch with this type of engraving on the back, you know, is just kind of summed up by this whole attitude and design. This is a very exclusive, highly independent watch brand making high-end sport watches with unique personalities. And with the Octopus 2, I think Linda Verdelin has finally sort of found their groove, mixing design, and complications and feel and personality. And when you look at this watch, it is very unequivocally Linda Verdelin. And the dial represents that. You have a dial here that has lots of little details in there, very modern looking, laser cut. Um, these numerals are very much their own. And when the minute hand moves aside, you'll be able to see the double date feature. I guess I can just do it manually here. I hate to, hate to mess up the time. Now the double date, is basically a big date and what they've done is they've taken two discs cut them out in like a stencil form and use them as the the big date indicator and you can see there it is the 17th and I'm waiting for the second hand to move and this one because it's the yellow version has it in yellow there's a one with gold and there's one with there's one with a blue strap. I don't remember where the big date color is there. Um, it's not the easiest big date in the world to see because those kind of, you know, numbers get, they're curved and they're also part of that stencil shape. But it's pretty cool and I appreciate it. I think it's a really fun thing. There's no other watch out there that does it like this and I really appreciate the, the, the design motives behind it. You have here, for example, the Linda Verdelin name there and the logo, which is sort of off-centered there, close to 8 o'clock. And you have the classic Linda Verlin case, which is designed in order to fit the uh, instruments, which clip onto the top and they connect in here and here. The case is 44 millimeters wide, and this one's relatively thick at uh, about 15 and a half millimeters thickness. It looks larger than it is because of these very wide lug structures. And here in titanium, they're cut very, very well. This is a very high-end titanium cut case. And the edging is, is very beautiful. It's done very, very nicely. Very, very cool and modern looking. These side parts are DLC coated black. And the bezel is in ceramic. The screws here have these little yellow um, gaskets in them that sort of highlight this yellow color. The yellow color is actually more like a light green and it's very much what I would call an avocado color. They use a very high-end rubber strap, which is very soft to the touch, very soft to the touch. And I like the design of it a lot. It's very custom, cool, cool material, and a cool design, which, which is just very attractive altogether. Legibility is very, very good. And as a diver watch, it's water resistant to 300 meters. The original Octopus had more water resistance. It was like one, you know, 1,111, because I wanted to be, um, you know, a little unique like that in terms of the water assistance. But for all functional purposes, the watches will do the exact same thing because no one is actually going down that deep. The detailing on the titanium uh, buckle there is very nice, and it's finished very, very well. Titanium is a lighter metal, but of course scratches easily. So I would be Careful um, with this and other titanium watches of this, you know, this pedigree. From a design perspective, it's very cool on the wrist. It's very, very noticeable. The modern design looks, looks like something someone in a James Bond movie would wear with a, you know, with a, with a matching black and yellow wetsuit. And it's very, very cool. And one thing that people 
they got kind of upset about is that while this is a diver's watch, it doesn't have a rotating bezel, which is true. And Lynn Wehrland basically said, we wanted to be different, okay, but at the same time, they wanted people to use their, what they call the reef, um, you know, wrist computer instrument, which clips onto this thing, which has a lot of cool diving functions. So this is the dive watch, which you're supposed to wear while diving, but not actually read the watch while diving, although you can. You're supposed to have some instrument on top of it. And, and realistically speaking, if you're a diver these days and you're, and you're planning on diving with a watch of this price, you're probably going to have a computer and several other things, and you're not really going to be using that rotating bezel. Most, most importantly is that you can read the time and that the watch is water resistant properly. Another little feature I like is on the crown here, you have a little engraving of, well, it's not quite an octopus. It kind of is. It looks more like a squid, but it's definitely a mollusk. I'll give it that. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's a mollusk. So that wouldn't make a very good watch name, the mollusk, you know? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> maybe the cephalopod, the bivalve. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to wear this to some marine biology place and get all nerdy with, with them because I like that sort of thing. This is a limited edition of 88 pieces. There's three versions of the Octopus 2 right now. Each of those models are limited to 88 pieces only, which makes it a very exclusive one. From a price perspective, it's expensive, but these are, you know, what I would call handcrafted, um, very exclusive, and one of those types of things which is for enthusiasts, aficionados, and true collectors. Price for this model with the titanium DLC and the ceramic bezel is in the vicinity of $10,500. And you can see the full review on theblogtowatch.com. Thanks.